Uh, genetics and genomics uh, actually has been a major catalyst to advances in what we now call the field of precision medicine. Uh, society right now is in the midst of what I call the precision revolution, uh, in which we are basically interested in not only improving numbers of therapies and interventions that can be easily offered to patients, but to increase the efficiency with which those offerings are provided to patients and to improve outcomes. Because frankly, one of the major problems that we face in medicine is that some of it be, you know, is trial and error. And so precision medicine helps to cut down on that trial and error aspects of, uh, of care and uh, make it to where you hit the bullseye every time that you make an intervention. That requires understanding of the individual. And, and the differences and similarities of that individual to other individuals and to populations. And it's this level of integrated knowledge that actually helps the, the provider uh, make good judgments about what the best course of action is in trying to correct disease. And it's the combination of environmental influences lifestyle choices and determinants with genetics and genomic insight that together provide the platform that uh, we now recognize as precision medicine. The delivery of that care can be um, manifested in many different ways. Uh, you know, you could have uh, advances which are at the level of uh, digital resolution of uh, medical imaging. It could be at the level of wearable devices that uh, uh, people utilize to, you know, gather the information. Or it could be at the level of, you know, improved inhalers uh, for people who have, you know, asthma and problems of that sort. But all of those advances benefit tremendously from uh, uh, the information and the knowledge that originates from genetics and genomic interventions. New technology is now becoming available that allows for uh, pretty exquisite uh, genetic manipulation in ways that, that will allow us to improve upon gene therapy approaches and optimize the way in which we utilize the uh, technology uh, to bring improvements in quality of care uh, for populations. Another important dimension to this uh, is the fact that um, while uh, in the past we tended to think of genetics and genomics as fancy expensive interventions, uh, the reality is that the cost of uh, genetics and genomics uh, clinical interventions is, is dropping down exponentially and that this are going to become tools that can be easily integrated into primary care, into public health interventions, and into uh, modalities that can actually be integrated into day-to-day -day life. And I think it, the future is extremely exciting in terms of that and our ability to sort of capitalize on those advances to improve the health of our society.